so it's day three of my water fast. I'm actually feeling really good today. I have a lot more energy. Um, I feel a lot more positive. Uh, just, I was, last night was kind of hard and I woke up just feeling really relieved that I was able to sleep and that the hard part was over. Um, I'm assuming that is because I was switching over completely to ketosis and I'm probably all the way there now. My body's adapted to it. But last night I didn't sleep till 7 a.m. I woke up at 11 today and I was really hungry and I caught myself really fantasizing about food and I was like looking at pictures or not pictures but recipes online things I wanted to eat after the fast like really healthy food and stuff which is really awesome I'm not craving bad food I'm craving like salads and like stews and soups and like fruits and stuff like that I'm not craving it right now but last night I was <clears throat> and I was really nauseous. I had no energy, so I was like really, really exhausted, but I couldn't sleep. And I was kind of feeling bored and a little bit lonely and like almost depressed. <laughs> like I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I was like, oh, am I going to feel like this the whole fast? And honestly, the hardest part about this is the boredom because I have all these like little projects and things that I want to do and I haven't had energy. So today, it's really nice because I've had a little bit more energy. Um, I decided to film um, earlier or just during the day today because the sun's out and it's just really nice and all my other two videos are really dark so. Um, as far as symptoms go, um, so I've lo I'm, I weighed myself this morning. When I started I was 111.2 and today I weighed 105.8. But I know, I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm losing a lot of weight. But I know it's going to be, you know, these first couple days as the glycogen was being depleted. That's what was it, contributing to the weight loss. And fasting is slightly dehyd uh, dehydrating. So um, I'm not too worried about that. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so my shoulder started hurting last night. And from what I've read, that's caused by toxins in the bowels. Um, I did an enema last night. There's nothing in there. <laughs> but I felt better after I did it. Um, and then my calves started hurting, like, really bad. Like, I felt like I did a calf workout, like, lifted weights with my calves. And I've heard that toxins can be accumulated in, in the legs. So I uh, went and had a massage today. It was wonderful. It felt amazing. My shoulders still feel really super tight. Like I feel like almost like if I were to do too much exercise or, or not, I haven't been exercising, but if I just even used them too much that they would like spasm or tense up. They're really tight. So I know something's getting worked out or worked through there. Um, like I said, I have a lot more energy today, so that's really good. Um, and I read a lot of, um, eating, I always get the name wrong, eating for health, eating and fasting for health by Joel, Dr. Joel Furman. And it's been, you know, most of the information I already knew, and I mean, I've read about it online and stuff. But it was a nice little refresher. And since I've been fasting, I've had a lot more clarity of mind to think about things. And it makes so much sense that, you know, the whole, our whole medical, whole medical and diet and uh, food and drug and administration and all that, it's, 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 they're, everyone's going about it the wrong way because everyone eats you know just things that their body was not meant to eat like all the preservatives and processed foods and our body deals with it the best that it can but it can't keep continue getting dirty fuel if you're putting dirty gas in your car there's going to be something 
something's gonna go wrong. And um, and that's what we do. And and on top of it, there's alcohol and cigarettes. And then we take we don't feel well, so we take prescription drugs. And the drugs are only treating the symptoms, and it's not treating the cause. And so it's just masking it, which is worse. And then things get worse and it snowballs and people don't take responsibility for their health and they don't they just want to say here fix me give me a pill to feel better and that's not how it's supposed to be that's not how it should go I for one am taking responsibility for my health and well-being and what I put into my body and it, it the I'm I'm gaining so much respect for my body during this fast because um, all the little symptoms I'm having, it's like, I, I don't even have to, I don't even have to know what the problems are in my body. My body is just healing itself. It's, it's cleansing. It's getting rid of all the obstacles that are preventing optimal well-being and health. And Dr. Douglas Graham is the author of the 80-10-10 diet. And though I don't follow a raw, a low-fat raw vegan diet, which he advocates, he says that when you stop participating in whatever is causing the disease, it'll stop. Just stop doing whatever it is that's causing the problem and and eat a healthy diet. And it, stress and all that plays into it too, but the main source of fuel that you're putting into your body is food. So give it what it needs and it'll it'll be happy and it's always striving to maintain the perfect homeostasis so that's all you really have to do and it's just amazing and I'm really just honoring just this process and just amazed by how my body is just it just knows what to do all I have to do is rest and drink water and it is doing everything on its own and it's just really amazing and I'm just feeling really good, really positive today. So it's going really well, and I'm really enjoying it. So that's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow for day four.